Genic, ingenious supplies. What's up, Spikes? Welcome back to the Spike Feeders World Headquarters for another game of pre-constructed decks. Uh, I'm Elliot. Uh, I'm going first in turn order somehow. And uh, yeah, the, the pre-constructed decks that we're playing today are the Fallout decks. Um, shout out to Wizards of the Coast for sending them to us. We're very excited to play them. And uh, if, after you see, hopefully them do uh, what they're going to do, if you want to pick them up yourselves, there'll be a uh, pre-order link uh, down there somewhere. Uh, if you click that link specifically, it lets them know we lets them know we sent you. Uh -huh. <laughs> we got there. <laughs> yeah. Um, so again, yeah, I'm going first. I am playing Mutant Menace, helmed by the Wise Mothman. Uh, I'm doing lots of countery uh, shenanigans, rad counters, plus one plus one counters, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna kill you with my insect mutant. Hopefully. That sounds pretty cool. Hmm. Hi everybody, my name's Alex, and today I'm playing Scrappy Survivors Helmed by Dogmeat, ever loyal. Oh my gosh, he's just a cute little guy. This is a Naya deck that's all about auras and equipment, and since that's really easy, let me just shout out during this portion, our sponsor, Gamegenic. They're the folks that help keep the lights on around here, and we just want to say thank you so much to them for these deck boxes, these sleeves, and these play mats. Anyway, I'm going to play this deck, and it's got equipments and auras, and we'll figure it out. How am I supposed to deal with Alex's commander? They they deliberately made a Voltron commander that's like... A dog that you can't kill. It's like better than Ward. <laughs> like Ward, feel shame. <laughs> uh, what's up, everybody? Uh, I'm Jim. Today I'm playing... <clears throat> give me a sec. <clears throat> Science! Uh, this is a Jeskai deck. It's helmed by Dr. Madison Lee. Uh, Madison, unfortunately, not here to play Madison Lee, so I'm going to try and do her justice while she's in Montreal or wherever she is. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is an artifact deck, but it's also an energy deck. Uh, I'm going to be gaining a whole bunch of energy, probably by ETB kind of stuff. Uh, and then I'm going to be using the uh, art of the energy to draw some cards, to recur some artifacts. Uh, but I get, a, I get an energy every time I play an artifact, so that's kind of going to be my main source of it, I think. I'm, <laughs> I'm Jerry. Uh, I'm going last in turn order today uh, because uh, the dice gods hated me today, but you know what does not hail me? The deck Hail Kaiser. We are going to take over the world. We are going to stomp. We are coming for you. We are going to take the entire Mojave. Uh, I haven't actually looked at the deck list that much, but I'm assuming we're just going to win because uh, Hail Kaiser. Jerry, I think, is the only one of us that's actually played Fallout, so he might be a little more excited. Oh, no, I played the heck out of oh, okay. New Vegas. It's a great game, but that's fair. Yeah. that guy, evil. Yeah. <laughs> Before enough. we get into the game, though, uh, if you want these decks, uh, in addition to the deckless uh, uh, description uh, link that you can click on to pre-order them, we're also going to be giving these ones away. So we're going to be tossing these in one of the long game genic boxes, probably a cards layer, maybe a dungeon. We'll see. We'll see how we're feeling, you know. Uh, and we're going to be giving one of these away. So make sure you're following us on Twitter. Uh, the link will be in the thing. In the thing. And uh, yeah, when uh, when this episode comes out, we're also going to launch the uh, giveaway. Uh, and if you like that, then give us a little like in the in the in the like, a little thumbs up. Yeah. So doobly do. I think we're uh, ready to crack these out of the game genic fashions. Alrighty, I'm gonna draw to start the game here. Uh, and I'm just gonna play an opulent palace. Uh, what's it like to have a perfect mana base? <laughs> That's the turn. How opulent. <laughs> That's the name of the movie. All right, <clears throat> let's see. We're gonna start with this Moss Fire Valley, and then pass the turn. Okay, I'll draw a card. I'm going to play a Temple of Epiphany in defense mode and uh, scry one. I think we're going to toss that on the bottom. You can't play a card in face up defense mode, Sam. <laughs> God. <laughs> well, I'll uh, be sure to remember that next time we play Yu Gi Oh! <laughs> Go ahead. Untap, upkeep, draw. Uh, in the first step of um, Mojave domination, um, we're going to be silent. Temple of Silence. Let me scry one. That one's tough for Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to leave in that one right there. Oh, scary. Scary indeed. Elliot, go ahead. Thank you. I will. I'll untap my Opulent Palace and I'll draw a card for the turn. Uh, I've got uh, one of these really nice uh, full art forests. Uh, all of the lands in these decks are like Fallout themed, obviously, and these ones are really nice. Uh, and then I'm going to tap both of these for a Talisman of Resilience. 
uh, black green talisman. Mm, very nice. Yeah. Uh, still have a perfect mana base. Uh, go ahead. Sounds good. Gonna untap and drop. I'll play this planes to join you in the perfect mana base club. Whoa. And pass the turn. Perfect mana base with only two lands. Yeah. Both Crazy. Of you. Well, I had it with only one, so I'm better than that. <laughs> right? Right, Dad? Right? Please. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's okay. <laughs> I would like to play a planes. Completing my perfect meta base. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to play this Mind Stone. But wait, that's not all. I'm going to tap the Mind Stone and play a Wayfarer's Bobble. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. Bobble. And I'll pass. Untap, upkeep, draw. Hey, how'd that get there? Uh, I'm going to play a Nora Plains. And is that who that is? That is Nora. Wow. You guys played the same planes. Did you? <gasps> Nora same planes, planes. Same planes. Oh. I'm going to tap two and play Talisman of Conviction. Ooh. Perfect man. No base. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> uh, untap. Draw. I'm going to play a nesting grounds uh, as my land for turn. You know, because I already have a perfect mana base, I can afford to play this colorless uh, utility land. Uh, and then I'm going to pay for not taking a damage uh, off of the talisman to play it. It's a pretty good one. Uh, I've got a guardian project. Ooh, okay. Uh, did you know that? Um, Typically, you know, in Commander, uh, a non-token creature entering will not have the same name as... <laughs> I'll pass the turn. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Elliot. I didn't know that. You're welcome, Jerry. <laughs> That's why we keep him around. <laughs> <laughs> I'll play this mountain as my land for turn, and then we'll tap red for red-green, for white for dog meat, ever loyal. He's a 3-3 dog. Mm. This is going to be a problem. Well... I'll tell you what this dog's doing. Uh, when he enters the battlefield, we're going to mill five cards, then return an aura or equipment card from my graveyard to my hand. What that dog do? <laughs> <laughs> he just told you what that. He's milling five cards. All right, I've got a few options here, including not this bobblehead, which is gone forever now, I assume. Uh, we've got almost perfect, which enchanted creature has base power and toughness nine ten and has indestructible. We've got Idolized, which is an enchant creature that this creature has whenever this creature attacks alone. It gets plus X plus X until end of turn where X is the number of non-land permanents <laughs> you control. And we also have Squirrel Nest. Banger. Do I want my dog <laughs> to have squirrels? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab Almost Perfect because that seems like a really cool card and put that into my hand. I love Squirrel Nest in the dog deck. <laughs> that <is laughs> that's so good. Funny. I think that's going to be that it. That's all. But I do have eight cards in hand. Oh, no. Oh. Uh, so I'm going to go to Discardies and drop this forest into the bin. Okay. I'm going to untap. I'll draw a card. Uh, I think I'm going to uh, tap the Mind Stone for a colorless and cycle this Ash Barrens. Okay. One basic land coming right up. Wah, wah, wah. I'm going to get this mountain mm -hmm. to my hand. That is a basic land. It is a basic land. <gasps> I and mean, then I'm going to play played. it. It might be a different one though, so, you know. Yeah, what's the collector number? <laughs> uh, you missed it, sorry. Frank. I don't know what to tell you. Information lost. <laughs> uh, tapping my temple for a blue, I'm going to cast my commander, Dr. Madison Lee. So for those of you that are not familiar, Dr. Madison Lee is a 2-3. Whenever I cast an artifact spell, I get an energy. I can uh, tap it and do one of three things. I can remove one energy to give target creature plus one plus zero and trample in haste until end of turn. I can pay three energy to draw a card, or I can pay five energy to return target artifact card from my graveyard to the battlefield tapped. Right. Wow, that's really good. It's a lot For of three mana, uh, it does a, does quite a few, much many things. She much also many. does not like Liam Neeson. That's okay. not true. She adores him. Good to know. I'm going to pass the turn. You're just going to keep saying I'm things. I'm just going to keep it... making Fallout references low-key yeah. throughout the entire and see how many YouTube comments. I was like, going to say, if he says anything wrong, be sure to tell him. Yeah. Because we will not catch it, probably. Here, here's the thing. Liberty's <laughs> non-negotiable. War always changes. If there's one thing I know. <laughs> I have never been more insulted in my entire being of existence. Okay. I'm less insulted now. Thank you. Because I'm going on a triumph. I'm going to describe one. Oh, Temple of. Temple of Triumph. All right. I'm just going to keep going with my turn. I'm going to lose a life, which might be the first time oh, yeah. I think it uh, is. any yeah. of us have lost a life in this game. Uh, you're welcome, editor, for you know, not having a life total change until turn three. So. <laughs> uh, so red, black, white. Um, some might say the perfect mana base. Uh, Kellogg Dangerous Mind. Ooh. <laughs> Like my cereal, or? <laughs> yep. Yeah, sure. Uh, first strike haste, whenever uh, Kalog attacks, create a treasure token. Sacrifice five treasure tokens, gain control of target creature for as long as you control Kalog. Activate only as a sorcery. Wow. Don't look over here. 
<laughs> it's five treasures, isn't it? It's yeah. five. He's, he's not getting there anytime soon. I'm right? going to move to attacks. Uh -huh. Sure. Um, Alex, three you. Okay. Oh. Trigger on attack. I'm going to going to create a lovely treasure token. 37 for Alex. I like that by attacking with a first strike creature, he puts the onus on Alex. If Alex blocks, you're the bad guy for killing the dog. Oh yeah, I would yeah. I would never I would never intentionally use dog meat like that. There's my treasure. Uh some NCR dollars. Ooh. Those what are that, worthless. What does that stand for? <laughs> uh, New California Republic. They got the bear flag? Yeah, it's got the, two heads. The two heads, because mutant. In universe, New Capenna Republic. <laughs> 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 yeah. That's Bang. good. I like that one. Uh, pass the turn. Alrighty, I will untap. I will draw. I'm just gonna go ahead, tap four here. Uh, green, blue, black, so I have to pay a life. 39. Uh, I'm gonna cast my commander. <gasps> yeah, the wise Mothman. Uh, he's a 3-3. Three, three. They're a 3-3, three, three. sorry. <laughs> Flying, uh, when it ETBs or attacks, each player gets a rad counter. I love, <laughs> I'm gonna cast the wise moth man. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> the, the wise moth them. <laughs> the wise moth they, yeah, nice. Okay, uh, everybody gets, get your radiation out please, or. Uh, Could you get your radiation I, I can, out, if you if you would like. I don't know if I have any. That's okay, so I think you here you go. That has one. So everybody has just one. Can you tell me what radiation does? Mm -hmm. What this says is at the beginning of your pre-combat main phase, so that's everybody's, right. uh, if you have any, mill that many cards, and then for each non-land card milled this way, lose one life and a rad counter. So again, everybody oh, currently- lose a rad counter, okay. Yes, they, they deplete. Uh, but currently everybody has one. And then my, uh, my Mothman here says, whenever one or more non-land cards are milled, I get to put, uh, Plus one, plus one counter on each of up to X target creatures, where X is the number of non-land cards milled this way. Whoa. So I'm hoping this guy's going to be a 7-7 seven, seven real quick. Uh -huh. uh, also, I have a Guardian Project trigger, so I'm going to draw a card. Whoa. Mm -hmm. I'm popping off here. I thought I was supposed to be the Voltron deck. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, and then I'll play in an Evolving Wilds as my oh. land for turn. Very nice. Very you know, thematic, you yeah. know? Uh, and then I'm going to pass. All Let's right. Pass the turn. Gonna up, untap, upkeep, draw. When I move into... What, what happened to precons? Yeah. Oh, they got pretty good. These are especially pretty good. But yeah. we're going to remove... Uh, oh, I don't remove it yet. I just do mill. it. Yes, right. mill one. one. So I'll mill one. Oh, that's a non-land card. That's Super Mutant Scavenger. Uh, right. You lose a life. I lose a life. 36. And right. you lose a rad You lose it. your rad counter. Yep. And I get a trigger to put a plus one plus one counter on each of up to A target creatures, yeah. which will be my Mothman. That seems great. Uh, I already drew my card, I already did that. So we'll play Exotic Orchard as our land for turn, also very thematic. <sighs> yeah. Uh, we're gonna do one, two, three. We're gonna tap better. One, two, three. For Champion's Helm. Ooh. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Then we go ahead and declare an equipment to dog meat. Yeah. Try to give it, it hexproof and make it a 5-5. Five, five, yeah. Make it a 5-5, five, five. you yeah. got it. Uh, hey, Jerry. Yeah, yeah you know, I, <laughs> I saw that one coming there. Uh, so it's a 5-5? Five, 5-5, five? Five, five. go to 34, 5 dog meat damage. Five How could dog the dog meat. do this to me? I, I rescue dogs and foster dogs <clears throat> constantly, and this is what I get. I'm such a good You punched person. me first, Jerry. I don't know what you want. Did Pass you foster dog meat? <laughs> well, there's your problem. <laughs> huh. I'm going to untap. Rad counter trigger. I'm going to mill uh, one. You draw first. It's oh, at the beginning first. of your pre-combat main. Oh, interesting. You get to draw oh, that one. Okay. okay, we're good. Well, then I'm going to draw a card, and then I will uh, mill one. It's Elder Owen Lions. Mm. Oh, this card is so good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a 3 3 that gives my artifacts ward one. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. That's so you cool. lose a life. Yes. And your rad counter. And lose a rad counter. Uh, and I've got another trigger because I'm goaded and I keep hitting non lands wow. off of you guys. So. Okay. Well, I've already drawn my uh, land for my turn. I'm going to play this Exotic Orchard, and uh, I think it also taps for all of the colors in the game. I think so, yep. Uh, except for blue? I got blue. Oh, you got blue. My bad. So I'm going to then tap three and cast Rex Cyberhound. <gasps> Dog! Dog. Uh, <laughs> this is a 2-2. Two -two. Uh, when it deals combat damage to a player, I mill, or the person that I uh, deal combat damage to mills two cards, and I get two energy counters. Then I can pay two energy 
to choose target creature card in the graveyard, exile it with a brain counter on it, activate only as a sorcery. So and Rex has all activated abilities of cards in exile with that. That's such a good this design. This thing costs three mana? It is a, yeah. <laughs> that's, Holy. Yeah. That's, that's a new Vegas special Honestly, there. a super cool commander, maybe. Next, uh, Madison Lee triggers because I cast an artifact spell. Certainly so did. I am going to get an energy. <sighs> yeah, power nice cell. little power cell energy uh, tokens. They're actually super nice. <laughs> and I think I'm just going to pass the turn. Okay. Untap, upkeep. I do draw my card first before I take my, yeah, my yeah. Geiger I, counter goes off. I don't actually own you like we thought, but that's okay. <laughs> land. All right. Mill the land. Keep the rads, because uh, I like to live dangerously. No rad away from me. All right. I'm going to play a Clifftop Retreat, and I'm going to play probably the most annoying first enemies you fight in a video game times Slime. two. Is Wrong it, video game. Is it cro cockroaches? I'm going to tap uh, five mana, colorless, so I don't take a, an ouchies. And I'm going to play a Powder Ganger, uh, squad two, as an additional cost to cast a spell, you may pay two any number of times. Once. Uh, when this creature enters the battlefield, create that many tokens that are copies of it. Yeah. Uh, when Powder Ganger enters the battlefield, destroy up to one target artifact. My artifact. So you get a copy. So you get to destroy two target artifacts. I get two target artifacts. All right. Got my copies, and I got to make two selections. Uh, dog. <gasps> what? It's an artifact creature? Yeah, it is. Oh, my God. Damn it, Elma. Um, I think I'm gonna respond. Jerry's crazy for that one. He's going for the the comment hate immediately. I'm okay with the champion's helm. I'm not okay with the dog. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, I'm not gonna respond. It, it happens. They get okay. destroyed? Dis destroyed. Okay. Yeah. I will then move to combat. And uh, Jim. Yeah. Uh, Kellogg's coming at you. Trigger on attack to make another treasure. How big Kellogg? Three, three two, two first strike. strike. Three two first strike. And what are these? These are two twos. Two oh twos. Gosh. Yeah, I'm not gonna block. This card's so good. I'll take three. Go to thirty six. Best turn. Alrighty. Uh, end of Jerry's turn. I'm gonna crack my evolving wilds. I'm gonna respond. <gasps> I'm gonna crack my wayfarers bottle. Oh, okay. I'm, gonna I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Go, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. I'm in turn order. I'm gonna respond. I can't do anything. Good. Pass. <laughs> Great. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think yours resolves first. It does. Okay. I'm getting an island. It's into play, isn't it? Into yeah. play tapped. Mine too. Also an island. Spider-Man oh. meme unlocked. <laughs> I'm going to untap. How did it get locked? Um, Probably the internet. Oh, okay. Mm. Draw for a turn. And then at the beginning of my pre-combat main phase, I will mill. Ooh, a big one. Rampaging <laughs> Yao Guai. Uh, green, green, green X for a 2-2 two, two bear mutant with vigilance and trample. ETBs with X plus one plus one counters. And when it ETBs, destroy any number of target artifacts and or enchantments with total mana value X or less. So you lose a life? I lose a life. 38. I lose my rad counter. And I have a Mothman trigger to make him a 6-6, six, six, not a 7-7 seven, seven, like I hoped. I'm going to play a basic swamp as my land for turn. Uh, and then I'd like to get this card online as soon as possible, I think. Uh, one, two, three. Um, just, a, just a branching evolution. Uh, if one or more plus one plus one counters would be put on a creature I control twice that many are put on that creature instead, no big deal. <laughs> Not a big deal. We've got a problem on our hands, I think. <laughs> Not a big deal. <laughs> My good friend, Mr. Mothman, turning out to be quite a problem. Right here in uh, River City. Yeah. Wise, comma, Mothman. <laughs> um, wise is my father. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go uh, go on down to Combat Town. Jerry's got the biggest board. I, I will attack Jerry. Uh, when he attacks, everybody gets another rad counter. Yeah, we'll have to that's do. six in the air. Uh, six in the air coming at you, Jer. Uh, and now Jerry has what? Five dog meat and uh, six, six moth. Mothman? <laughs> I think that is all I'm doing for my turn. Okay, we're passing it off. We're going to untap, upkeep, and draw. Pre combat main phase. Well, that's not how that works, Alex. Mm -hmm. Mill. Oh, it's a land. <sighs> oh, keep your red counter. Yeah, no. I'm going to tap Exotic Orchard for green to cast Wild Growth targeting this mountain. Okay. Ooh, good one. Then we'll tap one. Two, three, four. 
No, three. One, two, one, two, pay one, two, three, to cast Breakdown. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. Create a junk token. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Not not a big deal. Oh, crazy. I said it's not. I said it. Branching Evolution's already gone. Why did I even cast <laughs> oh, Wow. Oh, there it is. Hey. <laughs> junk token. And there's a junk token. Uh, junk token says, sacrifice this artifact, exile the top card of my library. I may play that card this turn. Activate only as a sorcery. I think that's the show, though, for me, and I'm going to pass the turn. Okay. I'm going to untap. Oh, man, I just read dog meat and realized I should have had a junk token from last turn, but that's okay. Just make a second one. Just make a second one? Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. I attacked oh, within a quick creature. Attacks. Yeah, we're all amigos wow. here. Yeah. Gaming. Uh, okay, then uh, I've untapped. I'm going to draw a card. Then at the beginning of my pre combat main, I will mill one. It's James Wandering Dad. That's Liam me. Neeson. That's Liam Neeson. Is it? He's yeah, also Liam James. I'm James. And you're James. My dad. That's cool because the only other prior, like James or Jim, was Chief Jim Hopper. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I was like, oh. Hmm. Yeah, there's no Alex's either. Yeah. Do they have That's Liam actually kind of cool. Neeson it's an adventure actually... spell. No. Uh, it taps for two mana, but I can only use it to activate abilities. Or it's got an adventure that says uh, X blue blue investigate X times. Ooh. On a three mana two four. That's crazy. Holy smokes. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, Okay, so, so you lose a life. I will lose a life going to 35. You lose your rad counter. I lose my rad counter. I get a Mothman trigger, but he only gets one <laughs> counter because yes. my branching evolution died immediately. Oh, me, 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 me. That is how he sounds. Yeah. Uh, okay, now we're in my pre-combat pain. I'm going to play Sulfur Falls as my land for turn. It's going to enter untapped. Then I'm going to tap four. One, two, three, four. And cast Vault 112 Sadistic <gasps> Simulation. This is a saga. And uh, on chapters one and two, I can tap up to one target creature and put a stun counter on it and gain two energy. Uh, so I think I'm going to do that, Mothman. <laughs> stun counter, please. My Mothman is stunned. Stunned. Uh, yeah, the third chapter is pay any amount of energy. If I paid one or more energy this way, shuffle my library, then exile that many cards from the top, I can play one of them without paying its mana cost. Uh, I do make two energy. That brings me up to a grand total of three. Yeah. I'm going to pass. Oh, Jim, that's what you think. Uh-oh. Untap, upkeep, draw. Yeah, this, this is a new pre-con deck, so Black almost certainly has targeted enchantment removal now. Right. But he's also a white deck. <laughs> oh, right. All uh, right. Pre-combat main, please. Pre-combat main, I'm going to mill Assemble the Legion. That's the name of the movie! Let me Same. see it, please, 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 please. <laughs> and uh, you mill two. Yeah, mill two. Uh, Bastion of Remembrance. Yeah. Lose two life yep. and both of the rad counters. 26. Bye, uh, Felicia. Jerry's not I get, for... because I believe it is at the same time, so I only get the one trigger. Yeah. So I could put uh, one on up to two creatures, but I obviously only have the one creature. So. It just says target creatures, not you control. Really? Yeah. yeah. You, yeah, you, a... you want to put it on uh, Powder Ganger? I will put it on Mothman and that's it. <laughs> okay. I am selfish. Good choice. Good okay. choice. Good choice. All I right. just wanted to give you the option. Uh, thank you for, for letting me know. Yeah, I'm going to play this Dragon Skull Summit tapped. Uh, move to combat. Elliot, uh, Calix coming at you this time for three. Mm -hmm. 35. Got another treasure there. We're up to three treasures. Got a lot of mana. I'm then going to tap four mana. Uh, black, white, colorless. And I'm going to play uh, another vault. We're doing Vault 11, Voter's Dilemma. So Saga 1 here is, for each opponent, you create a 1-1 one, one white human soldier creature token. That seems pretty nice, right? Three tokens. Three, three white tokens. Anyway, uh, two and three sagas are, each player secretly votes for up to one creature, then those votes are revealed. If no creature got votes, each player draws a card. That's nice. Otherwise, destroy each creature with the most votes or tied for the most votes. So we're destroying his citizens, right? Yeah, <laughs> that's tough. <laughs> we can, if we each vote for one of Jerry's uh, creatures, then they all are die. all tied. But, but he we have to do it secretly. Something. Yeah. So we can't coordinate. Yeah, but yeah. You trust. we can do it right now. <laughs> trust. Oh, I see. I see. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, end of Jerry's turn here. I'm going to cycle this fetid pools uh, just to draw a card. And then I'll untap. Uh, in my untap, I attempt to untap the Mothman and instead remove this stun counter and so cry. Uh, and then I will draw for my turn. Uh, we are now in the beginning of my pre-combat main phase, so I will mill a card. 
Oh, that would have been a good one. It is a biomass mutation. Uh, so I do lose a life. I lose my rad counter and I get a Mothman trigger to put him up to six. Plus one, plus ones. I've got another basic forest as my land. And then I'm, I'm going to play uh, some, some creatures, I think. Uh, oh. This is the one that I drew last turn that I assume is very funny. Uh, Lily Bowen, Raging Grandma. That's this, really good. <laughs> this is a four mana, zero, zero, Vigilance, ETB with two plus one plus one counters. And then at the beginning of my upkeep, double the number of plus one plus one counters on Lily Bowen if its power is 16 or less. Otherwise, <sighs> remove all but one then gain one life for each counter removed this way. So she gets bigger and bigger and bigger, and then when she pops, you gain a bunch of life? Yeah. And start over? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I will draw a card for my Guardian Project to trigger. The unfortunate thing is she suffers from schizophrenia. So if you know somebody who suffers from schizophrenia, don't worry to help them out a little bit. Seek help. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> uh, next, I'm then. really glad we got rid of branching evolution. Yeah. Yeah, you should be. <laughs> this thing would be huge. This thing would also be becoming huge. Anyway. Huge. Uh, blue, colorless. Jason Bright, <gasps> Glowing Prophet. Uh, this is a 3 mana 2 3 zombie mutant advisor. Whenever a zombie or mutant I control dies, if its power was different from its base, draw a card. And then come fly with me. Two, sack a creature, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature I control. It gains flying until end of turn. It's because. He brings oh. them on the rocket with them. That's 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 gotcha. The they just okay. couldn't resist putting Jace in the set, hey? <laughs> Jace Sun, right? <laughs> uh, I've got another Guardian Project trigger. I will pass the turn. Okay. We're going to untap, upkeep, draw. Then we're going to mill Duchess, Wayward Tavern Keep. So uh, I'll remove my rad counter, lose life, go to 35. Uh, and I get a seventh plus one plus one counter. <laughs> Uh, do you want to put it on Mothman, or do you want to put it on someone else? Oh, I have multiple creatures now. <laughs> the Mothman is probably getting stunned. You've got a good point there. Sure. You know what? Grandma time. Three counters on my grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Something I never thought I'd hear in a game of Magic. <laughs> I will play this Plains as our land for turn. We'll tap one, two, three, four, five, six for almost perfect enchantment. Or enchanted creature has base power and toughness. 9, 10, and has indestructible. Uh, uh yep. Nova X. <laughs> Best turn. Whoa, doesn't attack, Doesn't though. attack. Interesting. It doesn't have flying, right? Nope, it just has dog. <laughs> it just has <laughs> dog. Creature type dog. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm going to act in your end step, though. I'm going to pay one to sacrifice Mindstone draw card. That seems good. I'm going to untap... I will draw a card, and I have two triggers. I believe the rad triggers happen you first. Don't you don't have any rad triggers. I only have one trigger, and that's to tick up my Vault 112. I'm going to stun the Mothman again. I'm going to play a Plains, and I will tap two to cast this Thought Vessel. Triggering Dr. Madison Lee, I will gain an energy. Oh, actually, sorry. I gained two energy from Vault 112, bringing me up to five. And then the one energy from the Thought Vessel on the Madison trigger, and that'll bring me up to six. Then I'm going to tap two. I'm, I'm like irrationally excited about this. Uh oh. Um, can I, before we do this, can I get a Crab Rave in chat? Um, I'm going to cast Red Death, Shipwrecker. There's a 1 3 <gasps> Crab Mutant. It's legendary. It has alluring eyes. Um, go target creature and opponent controls. <laughs> I can tap it, th tap this to go target creature and opponent controls. That player draws a card and I add one red. Um, then I think I'm just gonna pass. Untap, upkeep, draw. You also don't have any rad counters. Sad. Do not have me. rad counters. But now, let the secrets begin. Okay. So, <clears throat> can you read to me what happens again? Each player, it's all of us, including me, chooses up to one, right? Secretly. Secretly, each player secretly votes for up to one creature. Then those votes are revealed. If no creature got votes, each player draws a card. Otherwise, destroy each creature with the most votes or tied for most votes. And it is destroy, right? So we can't even we can not we deal with dog the dog. Lead. Okay. That we can fair. all vote for the dog, but nothing will happen. Yes. Okay. In fact, if you're going to do that, it's best that we all just not vote for anything at all. Unless I don't want you all to draw cards. 
Yeah. Oh, that's that's true. You know, I like my friends, unlike somebody I know. So you know, okay. maybe. Let's, uh, okay. Be secretive secret, about secret, this. Secret. Secretive about this. What do we, what do, how do you spell that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's spelled P O W. Yep. Three, two, two one. one. Boom. Madison Lee. Elliot, you, Madison I did Lee? nothing. M- Mothman. I chose Kellogg. So oh my Maddie, god. So Mothman, Kellogg, and Madison <sighs> are dead. Okay. That's crazy. Back to the command zone. Uh, and we get to do it again next turn, because there's another one. Uh, so my Mothman is a mutant. Uh, so when it dies, its power was different uh, from its base. So I draw a card from Jason Bright. Uh, and I will put uh, Mothman back in the command zone, though, unfortunately. Cool. Uh, you know what card is really cool? Squad cars. Cards, squad cards, oh, not I squad it was cars. Be a squad vehicle. I got so excited. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, we're gonna. So, how many is this? We're gonna tap eight mana, including uh, a white. One of this is tapping for a white. That's a colorless. It's not that one. I don't want to take out cheese. Okay. Me either. Um, I'm gonna spend two of it for security squadron, Securitron squadron. Uh, it has squad three as an additional cost to cast the spell. You may pay three any number of times, twice. twice. Um, when this creature enters the battlefield, create that many tokens that are copies of it. Yep. Uh, Vigilance, whenever a creature token enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Oh, yeah. So, uh, three trigger, or three, sorry, three plus one, plus one counters, three plus one, plus one counters. Those are five fives? These are now five five fives. fives. So you paid eight mana to make a two, two, and a pair of five fives. Yeah, you know, it's just okay. And now any other creature token he makes, including from something like Assemble of the Legion, would get uh, three plus one plus one 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 counters. Yeah, that would be Uh uh absolutely uh correct in half. The Mojave is mine. The bear will die. Uh Sure, anything else? Combat. Sure. Jim. Yeah. I'm swinging at you with two, two, twos. I will block one of the two, twos with my one, three. Okay. And I will take the other two. You got it. Jim to 33. Now, my turn is done. All right. I will untap. Uh, in my upkeep, I'm going to double uh, the amount of counters on Lily Bowen because uh, her power is less than 16. So it is now <laughs> six plus one plus one counters. And then I'll draw a card for my turn. I've got an exotic orchard uh, as my land for turn. I think that's almost everybody. Jerry, you got you got to catch up. You're Sorry. the only one. I'll try. Not in the orchard. Uh, then two, three, four, five, six. So well, he's eight. not he's not in the orchard because he's in the desert. He's trying to conquer the. True. Mojave. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. I am going to tap five, including two blue, because the exotic orchard does make blue, for an inexorable tie. Oh, so good. Uh, so whenever I cast a spell, proliferate. Uh, and then uh, I think I'd like to cast a spell. That spell will be Power Fist. Proliferate. Uh, I will add a plus one plus one counter to my grandma. Oh gosh. These are counters on me. Just the grandma. <laughs> okay. I'm being selfish again. Uh, but Power Fist is a two mana equipment uh, with equip two, and equip creature has trample, and whenever it deals combat damage to a player, put that many plus one plus one counters on it. My grandma has vigilance. <laughs> Mike, fine too. Never let me get away with anything. <laughs> Gaming. But it, it's only a seven seven, so I guess I'm not attacking into Jer still. Jim, yep. seven coming at ya. I got no blocks. Uh, pass the turn. All right, I'm gonna untap. Upkeep and draw. No red counters. Seems good. I'm going to play this forest as my land for turn. Yeah, why not? Why shouldn't I? After all, it's my bomb. <laughs> I was just going to slam the one ring. <laughs> what? One, two, three, four, five, six? Five, oh, six boy. for Megaton's Fate. <gasps> Choose one. Disarm. Destroy target artifact. Create four treasure tokens. Or, in this case, detonate. Megatron's fate deals eight to damage to each creature. Each player gets four rad counters. Oh boy. Are you choosing that boat? Yeah, me and Tenpenny Tower get along great. All right. Everybody uh, yeah. has your creatures take Everybody's creatures take eight. Creatures eight. Take eight. And everybody yes. gets four rad counters. Let's make some rad counters. All right. Um, Moyer Brown's still going to come back, though, just as, as an FOI. That sounds good. Seems really good. Um, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, does he see both of yes. them? Perfect. So he is a zombie mutant. 
uh, Grandma is a mutant. I don't think his power is different than his base power. Though. It's not, so it doesn't matter. You're right. I do draw one card, though, for the Grandma. For sure. And we each get four rad Four counters. rad. I'm going to cast Masterwork of Ingenuity, copying Power Fist. Oh. What does Power Fist do? Uh, it it gives it trample, and whenever it deals combat damage, put that many plus one plus one counters on We're it. in danger. <laughs> I, made, I, I made a mistake, <laughs> I think. Uh, so Dogmeat Everloyal is going to attack Jerry for nine. Trigger, make a junk token. Jerry goes to 15. Seventeen. Uh, 17. 17. I can Wrong do math. math. Uh, but he also has fourteen dog meat. Indeed, <laughs> he does. Uh, pass the turn. Huh. Uh, in your end step, I'm going to act. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tap four. Are you going to play? I'm going to cast Glimmer of Genius. This says scry two, draw two cards. I get two energy. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I will scry two first. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but scrying. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Uh, I'm going to put these both on the bottom. Both. How many cards do you have to scry to the bottom before it's equivalent to drawing a card? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I would think two is pretty close. Yeah, I think scrying right. two is really strong. I will draw two cards, and I will get two energy counters. Okay, that's resolved. Now I'm going to untap. And uh, okay, so we've got two triggers after I draw my card for turn. Uh, the radiation happens first, I believe. Oh, I think you can stack them because that's your emblem. That didn't come. Oh, it's from my emblem. Yeah. I think I'm going to whatever. It's the same. Same either way, right? Yeah. I don't know what order these cards are in. Yeah. Yeah. Because you got to shuffle to do this anyway, right? Well, I'm going to mill four. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to do this one first because it's going to feel a little less bad. Okay. I will put the last counter on here. This triggers, and I will pay eight energy. Uh huh. I'm going to exile the top eight cards of my library, and I can play one of them without paying its mana cost. Okay, I'm going to exile the top eight. Let's see what they are. Uh, Electro Siphon? That's a counter spell. That's not going to do anything. Talisman of Conviction. Everflung Chalice. Not looking good so far. Dispatch. Ooh. Uh, Wake the Past? Return all artifacts from a graveyard to the battlefield. They gain a haste until I'm turned. That's an early, uh, yeah, we're, we're probably doing that one. Buried Ruin. We've got two more. Plasma Caster and uh, Intelligence Bobblehead. I think this is like not even close what I'm doing. Yeah. So we're going to exile these. Oh, you should have milled first. <laughs> I know I should have milled first, right? Dang. It's a reanimation deck. Yeah. I, I should have seen that coming. Okay, I'm going to play Wake the Past without paying its mana cost to return all of my artifacts to the graveyard. Including or, the dog. Yeah. The dog's coming back. I'm getting a Mind Stone, a Wayfarer's Bobble, and a Rex Cyberhound. I don't see anything on there about tapped. They come back untapped. And they have haste, as a matter of fact. And yeah, Rex has haste. haste. Okay. Well, we have awoken the past. Now I'm going to do my radiation, and I will mill four. Synth Infiltrator. That's cool. Mm -hmm. I've got Austere Command. Oh. I've got Evolving Wild. I really should have milled first. <laughs> and Sean. Sean! Father of Synths. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I will lose three lose rad three. counters and take three damage. Yep. Yeah. Wow. What a, what a start to your turn. What a yeah. pre-combat. Oh, yeah, would you like to like, spend some mana and do some stuff now? <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe. I'm going to play this island. I'm going to tap five to cast Dr. Madison Lee. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to move to combat. Uh, Rex coming at Alex for two. At me? Okay, at you. that's fine. 33. 33. Uh, that will trigger Rex, and I will make two energy. Okay. And I'm going to pass. Untap, upkeep, draw. Uh, you also have your decision now of which order you would like to do these in. I'm going to do this one first. So we all get to secretly vote. Oh, yeah. right. Okay, right. everybody ready? Yeah. Three, Let's reveal. Two, one. Dog oh. me. Nothing again. Dog, Dr. Madison Lee. I knew I, I, I voted oh. nothing. I was about to say, I knew he was going to vote for something, so I had to vote for something on his. That's fair. So okay, so you'll destroy Dark Meat. No, well, it's just, I'm not, I didn't want to yeah. risk understand. blowing uh, Jim completely out because Jim Jim's kind of holding yeah, I you think back. We need so. um, hang on a sec. Oh, you, hang on. Uh, I'm going to send Madison Lee to the graveyard. <gasps> That's the name of the movie. Uh, now you've got four rad. Four rad. So we are milling a Elder Arthur Maxon, Pitiless Plunder. Whoa, Ooh, good, good reprint. reprint. Yeah, great reprint. Mountain. Temple of Malice. So you lose two. two rad counters and you will take two damage or lose yep. two life. 
Right. All right. I'm going to tap four mana in some semblance of non-crazy action. But me too, gamer. So I got my two red there. And I'm going to play Mysterious Stranger. Look who's coming to help me in Vats. Ooh. I understand it has flash, uh, but also um, I have nothing else I'm doing. I just heard that sound when you cast that. I know. <laughs> the, <laughs> when Mysterious Stranger enters the battlefield, for each graveyard with an instant or sorcery card in it, exile target instant or sorcery card from that graveyard. If two or more cards are exiled this way, you choose one of them at random and copy it. Oh. You may cast the copy without paying its mana cost. So I have to choose something from your graveyard. Okay, my only uh, instant is Biomass Mutation. I have none. I've got three. I've got uh, Breakdown and Megaton's Fate. What's Wake the Past's actual wording? If is return it... all artifacts from your graveyard to the battlefield, they gain haste. Any artifacts in there? I have one, but that's not what I want. I'm going to do Glimmer of Genius from you. Okay. Megaton's and Fate? Megaton's Fate. Yeah. So I think I know what we're trying to hit here. Yeah, uh, you, you, you know what? One, two, three, four, five, six. Exactly. All right. No look, viewers at home, you got this. Two. We 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 uh, we we do we with uh, creatures we we, uh, we we killed my own mysterious stranger. Oh wait, do I have to cast it? You may cast. I don't have to. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Is it still exiled? Uh, no, I created a copy of it. No, but oh yeah, it is exiled. Yeah, they are exiled. Yeah, exiled. Sorry. Yeah. We nice. did stone cold nothing. It happens to the best of us. Uh, Talisman of Hierarchy, go ahead. Ready. Uh, I will untap. I don't have a fancy saga. So I'm just going to draw for my turn and then mill four for my rad. I've got Harmonize, Talisman of Curiosity, Atomize, and Recon Craft Theta. Where were these last turn? Uh, yeah, great question. Uh, go to 30. <laughs> Lose all four of my rad. Destroy target, non-land permanent, proliferate would have been nice. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, uh, it would have been. Take a look at my hand. Oh, it has flat. Ha! <laughs> Could have done that at the end of your turn after that. Uh, it does make sense that Mysterious Tra Stranger has flash. I agree. <laughs> um, I've got another basic swamp. Uh, I think I'm just recasting my commander. Mm -hmm. So blue, black, green, two extra for the tax. Wise Mothman, uh, Guardian Project trigger, draw a card. Inext oh, sorry, actually, Inextrable Tide trigger to proliferate uh, on the cast. Anybody who has Rad will get another. Okay. Uh, Jim, you can you can have an extra energy, pal. Oh, yeah. okay. Politics. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then draw a card for Guardian Project, and then Mothman gives everybody a rad. Everybody's not you or everybody? Everybody. Oh, that's wild. I didn't want to give myself two, though, so that's, that's why. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, then I'll take a look at the card I drew. That's my turn. Okie dokie, I'm going to untap, upkeep, draw. Uh, and then I'm going to mill six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Battered Ruin, Plains, Brass Knuckles, Sungrass Prairie, Acquired Mutation, Arcane Signet. Wow. Uh, three, I believe. Yep. So you go to 30, you remove three rads. Yep. I sort of have three triggers, but again, I don't want to get, oh, I certainly don't want to give your guy that's about to get Trample uh, any plus one, plus one counters. Mm -hmm. um, Jim, Rex can have a plus one plus one counter. Oh, what a good boy. I'm really trying to curry some favor here. Like, okay. <laughs> uh, First things first, I'm going to tap one of my junk tokens. Yeah, to yeah, yeah. Impulse draw. Got me Animal Friend. One and a green for an enchantment that says enchant creature has. Whenever this creature attacks, create a 1-1 one, one green squirrel creature token. Put a 1-1 one, one counter on that token for each aura and equipment attached to this creature other than Animal Friend. Animal Friend with all the squirrels. I yeah. love this. Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> great. This dog squirrel something. Uh, so just real quick, I'm going to tap two to equip our power fist to dog oh meat. Oh boy. Uh-huh. And I'm going to tap two to equip Animal Friend. Well, enchant Animal Friend to dog meat. Uh-huh. I'll then go ahead and tap one more junk to impulse draw once more. Mm -hmm. Moira. Hey, told you she'd be back. Yeah. Uh, and there. I'll go ahead and uh, tap my last junk for the turn to impulse draw once more, which is Mantle of the Ancients, blah, blah, blah. It's too expensive. Oh, oh that's really good for us that that's yeah, too Mantle expensive. Yeah, is a beating. Yeah, that would have been real good. Um, 
I will go ahead and tap one, two, three to cast Moira Brown, leaving Mantle of the Ancients in exile forever. Cry about it. Alex, yes, I will. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, create a colors, equipment, artifact, creature token called the Wasteland Survival Guide. When the <laughs> creature gets plus one, plus one for each quest counter among permanents I control that has equip one. And then whenever you attack, you put a quest counter on target normal and permanent you control. You got it. And there is the Wasteland Survival Guide. Gosh. It do exist. I That's cool. That. It That's does. It cool. is very cool. Um, I'm then going to move to attacks, and mm -hmm. I'm going to attack my good friend, Jerry. You, uh, you make a junk. You make, make a junk. junk. You also get a, get a squirrel. Make a squirrel. And I put gets a 1-1 one, one counter. Uh, two 1-1 one two one 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 counters, yep. And your Wasteland Survival Guide. Or does that have That's to be equipped? equipped. Yeah, oh, it that has, has to be equipped. equipped. Actually, whenever I attack, put a quest counter on target online and permanent eye control. I will put that on uh, dog meat. Um, so the squirrel comes in with two 1-1 one, one counters. Can I borrow a counter, please? Thank you. you. Yeah. I have one quest counter on dog meat. And Jerry, I'm attacking you for nine. So it turns out in the end, it wasn't the tumor that killed me, but the friendly dog down the road. <laughs> That's messed so up. You like this real quick and put nine counters on dog meat. Oh, boy. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, but I, I'm dead. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, you are. You have 14, right? Um. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm also dead every way. Um. From here to Sunday. That's fair. Well, on Sunday we're gonna pass the turn. Uh, in your end step. Yeah. I'm going to pay two energy mm -hmm. to exile Dr. Madison Lee from my graveyard with a brain counter on it. Uh, I will give Rex all of the activated abilities of Madison Lee. <laughs> Rex is the doctor. I, I assume now. you would like to not use the replacement effect to send Madison Lee. Correct. Like, yeah, I wow. weighed. I weighed it in my brain, and I was like, "Do I want to take a turn off brain. recasting my commander?" But uh, no, I don't. Instead, I'm just going to turn my dog into my commander. So it has all the activated abilities, but not the, not the trigger, not the trigger. Yeah. Cool. cool. Okay. Oh, yeah. Very interesting. Uh, then I will uh, draw a card for my turn, and I've got three rad counters. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to mill Bottle Cap Blast. That's a cool one. What's that do? Oh, that's cool. It's a five mana instant with improvise, and bottle cap blast deals five damage to any target. If excess damage was dealt to a permanent this way, create that many tapped treasure tokens. That's sweet. That's a cool. Uh, okay, I love that they do tapped treasure tokens because yeah. it's like rampant yeah. growth or whatever, right? Yeah. Instead of being broken. And we've got open the vaults, the <gasps> oh, second to open the thematic. vault effect, and then treasure vault. This is oh, all really sick. The vaults are <laughs> sick. Yeah, okay. okay, so I remove two of my rad counters and I take two. Oh. I'll go down to 21. 21. I've got a Mothman trigger again. I will uh, give himself and stop. <laughs> okay. Jim, Rex may have a second plus one plus one counter. Sick. Wait, plus one plus one? Yeah, right. Cool. You want to give me an energy too? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not proliferating. Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, then we're going to do some stuff. I'm going to tap one to cast Panharmonicon. Oh. oh, is he now? <laughs> That's how he feels. Hey, Jim, can you do me a favor next time you're yeah. working with the RC and just ban that? <laughs> yeah, no. Oh. Yeah, no. <laughs> we'll wait until the end of this game. Okay. <laughs> then I'm going to tap two and cast Assaultron Dominator. This is a 2-2 artifact creature robot. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, I get two energy. That gets doubled to four. And whenever an artifact creature I control attacks, I can pay an energy. If I do, I put my choice of a plus one plus one, a first strike, or trample counter on that creature. Wow! Okay. So I will get four energy going up to five total. Uh-huh. That's super cool. Yeah, I thought I was doing really good this game, and all of a sudden, everybody's doing too much stuff. Yeah, I say, like, not for nothing, but this dog meat's kind of big. My guy was huge, right? Yeah. Like, you did need to deal with him. Otherwise, I think I run away with this game Oh, absolutely. Fast, I think but, if it yeah. hadn't been for Jerry's voting thing, you'd probably win. Uh, next up, I'm going to tap Rex mm -hmm. and pay uh, five. That's all of my energy. You must put an artifact. Back. I'm going to put an artifact onto the battlefield. So I will put Synth Infiltrator on the battlefield tapped. And it's going to enter as a copy of Assaultron Dominator. So I'll get another four energy. From the Pan Harmonicon? Yep. Okay. Then I'm going to tap four. To cast Whirler Rogue. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> That's going to enter. Uh, it would normally create two Thopters, but I'm going to make four instead because of Panharmonicon. Yep. Then uh, I think I'm just going to pass the turn. I don't know if that was enough to move the needle, but we'll see. 
Uh, Ooh, I that really, cool. You cast so many things. I have this rad storm in my hand that I really wish I could cast, but it does cost four. Uh, I'm just going to fire this other spell off right now, I think. Uh, it is Mutational Advantage. Uh, one green, blue, instant. Permanents I control with counters on them gain hexproof and indestructible until end of turn. Prevent all damage that would be dealt to those permanents. Proliferate. And I've got in an extra roll tide proliferate trigger. So two proliferates. So proliferate from the trigger. Get an extra rad, everybody. Um, you can have another energy as well, but no plus one plus one counter for your dog. <laughs> okay. Uh, I will proliferate my plus one plus one counter here, and then proliferate from this, same thing. Everybody gets a rad, Mothman gets a plus one plus one, you can get another energy. Sick. Untap. Uh, draw for turn. Pre-combat main, I've got three rad. We are milling Tato Farmer, Alpha Deathclaw, and Winding Constrictor. I'm going to 27. I am losing all of my radiation. Mothman is getting another counter. Ah, uh, Rex can have a counter this time, I guess. I don't know why I'm choosing sometimes and not others, but <laughs> sue me. We'll never know. Uh, yes, I'm in my pre-combat main phase. Can I kill Alex? Uh, I can make your guy unblockable. He's already flying. Right? Yeah, so it's already pretty unblockable. Yeah. Okay. But uh, <laughs> Fine, I won't then. Uh, yeah, fine. I've got an overflowing basin. And then I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I can choose one. Alex, what's up? Choose one. I've got a screeching scorch beast. Kazunte. Yeah, thank you. Uh, one, two, three, four, beast. five, six. Um, this is a five, five with flying and menace. When it attacks, each player gets two rad. Whenever one or more non-land cards are milled, I may create that many 2-2 two, two black zombie mutant creature tokens. <laughs> Do this only once each turn. Oh, okay, thank okay. goodness. <laughs> cool. um, proliferate from the inexorable tide. I'll give Mothman another plus one. Both of you an extra rad. Uh, that's it. Jim, Jim has enough. Okay. <laughs> uh, and then I'm also casting... Oh, I did not mess up. I left a black open. I'm so smart. These three. For Feral Ghoul... Yeah. Proliferate again, same thing. Um, you both get a rad. Uh, Mothman gets a plus one, plus one. I need mm -hmm. another dice, please. There you go. Thank you. Uh, this one is a 2-2 menace. Whenever another creature I control dies, it gets a counter. And then when it dies, each opponent gets rad equal to its power. Cool. Then I'm heading to combat. Oh, mm -hmm. no, sorry. I've got Guardian Project triggers for these guys, too. Mm. Those cards cost a million. It's fine. <laughs> uh, now I'm going to combat. Alex. <laughs> Ten ya. <laughs> Ten me. Uh, everybody gets a rad. Okay, I'll go to six rad. I'll go to eight rad. And Alex goes to 20 life. Yeah. 20 life, 10 moth damage. 10 moth damage. We got a race on our hands, ladies and gents. Well, I, I do not think I'm going to win it, to be honest. <laughs> I'm a little uh, surprised you didn't equip the power fist. But... I was one short. Oh, I wanted right. to cast both of these mm. things to do this stuff. I, I, I had thought about it with the Guardian Project, and then right. I, for some reason, forgot that I also get to draw cards off creatures. But no worries. Yeah. Go ahead. All right. Gonna untap, upkeep, draw. Uh, pre combat main beginning. Please mill eight. Will do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight mills is Behemoth Sledge, Blood Forged Battle Axe, Brotherhood Outcast, Temple of the False God, Sol Ring, Silver Shroud Costume, uh -huh. Jungle Shrine, and Agility Bobblehead. Any one of which would have been way better. That's six. Go to two. Lose six. Go to 14. 14. I don't think I'm long for this world. Uh, I've got a Mothman. He's just going to give a counter to all of my creatures, if I may. That seems may. good. Uh, so I'll... I'll um, order it so that I make a zombie mutant, uh, and then all three of them will get a plus one plus one counter on top of Mothman. These guys got counters. Okay. What about your power fist? <laughs> Not a creature. Not a creature. Okay, we're going to my pre combat main phase. Mm -hmm. We're going to tap this junk to impulse draw. Baby Lammies. Heroic intervention. Ooh. Okay. Close. Yep. Close, but no cigar. Fun reprint. Not what we wanted. All right. If we're going down, we're going down swinging. We're going to attach Wasteland Survival Guide to Dogmeat. Move to attacks, and Dogmeat is going to attack Elliot. Okay. It's a million, a million. Trigger. I'm going to put a quest counter on the aura that gives indestructible because that's sort of a linked pair. Sure, sure. Uh, so we're also going to make a junk token and 
Yeah. Excellent. See if you might have a contact. Nice. Sorcery, 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 sorcery. Sorcery. Ah, I see. Yeah. Uh, oh, I also make a squirrel with three counters on it. And I've got an, an, a 2020 dog attacking me. You have a 2020 trampling indestructible you. dog. Doesn't strictly kill me. You're not wrong. I'm going to make it indestructible. Or uh, I'm going to make it unblockable. This makes my decision very easy. I will take 20 to the mouth. <laughs> okay, go to seven. Go to seven. Uh, but, uh, if the dog hits you again, you're dead. Mm-hmm. Doesn't matter. Uh, Both ways. I'm going to put 20 counters on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> I mean, look at this beautiful art, folks. It just it looks so uh, nice. Gorgeous. Yeah. Um, in my second main phase, I will tap my junk to impulse draw. <laughs> Don't tap your junk. We're going to get demonetized. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> this card just says deal seven to my face. Look. Yeah. Uh, Armory Paladin. It's 3-3 uh, three, three with trample. Whenever you cast an aura or equipment spell, exile top card, let my library impulse draw until end of turn. Cool. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, until the end of your next turn, actually. Oh, oh that's much better. Yeah, that, that is banger. much better. Um, we'll tap one, two, three to go ahead and cast Armory Paladin. I think that's a pretty cool card, as they say in the business. Uh, Mr. Gutsy is here. It's a uh, two mana, one, one that says whenever I cast an aura or equipment spell, put a one, one counter on him. And then when he dies, create X junk tokens where X <laughs> is the number of one, one counters on it. This That's good so sick. I need so many of these cards. Bastard. Okay, I'm going to untap. I have so many things to untap. You got a, you got a lot of permanents over there. Yep. Uh, okay, we're going to draw for turn and then rad counter. Six of them. Let's go for six. We've got Arcane Signet. We've got Nuka Cola Vending Machine. <sighs> I want that one too. We've got Talisman of Creativity. Paladin Dance, Steel <gasps> Maverick. Unexpected Windfall. And loyal apprentice. All of all for six. 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 Jim goes to fifteen, loses all of his rad. I make uh, a zombie mutant, and I get one, two, three. Yeah, six plus one plus one counters. The sick. Uh, it's crazy. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. I really think all these decks are crazy. Yeah, everybody's doing so much stuff. I feel like honestly, <laughs> if we hadn't killed uh, Jerry, I think he probably would have taken over. Okay, I am going to move to combat. Mm-hmm. I will swing. Uh, actually, you know what? Hang on. Let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna sack my line stump draw card. Sure. No help there. <laughs> I will uh, move to combat. I'm gonna swing uh, four thopters in the air at Elliot, mm. and this uh, five five dog at Alex. Uh, the attacks trigger my two assaultron dominators. And oh. I'm going to uh, pay four. I'm going to pay for all of the Assault Run Dominator triggers on one of them. That's uh, energy to give them all plus one plus one. And then I will pay for two of the Assault Run Dominators on the second one. So two of them get plus two plus two, and uh, the rest of them get plus one plus one. Okay. So hang on. Let me just represent that. Okay. So we've got uh, two of each of them. And uh, two of them are three threes, and two of them are two twos. And these are counters, right? These are counters, yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Uh, Yeah, I am unfortunately out of luck. None of the cards in my hand are castable. I can block one of the three threes, and I take seven. Okay. Uh, I'm going to block your dog with this squirrel. He caught one. Sure. Yeah. (laughs) Caught one. (laughs) Okay. Then uh, I'm going to play a... Uh, Clifftop Retreat as my land for turn, and I'm going to pass over to you. Okay, I think we might be in good shape. We'll see. I definitely... Yeah, I don't foresee me getting out of this one. But we'll see. We're going to draw real quick. Then we'll mill two. We got a Sun Scorch Divide. And a big Horner Rancher. Take one. Take one, lose one. Take one, lose one. Go to 13. Um... Just for, just for safety, just to, just to be a responsible gamer. Uh, we're going to cast Cass, Hand of Vengeance. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is a two red, white, four, three with Vigilance that says whenever Cass or another creature I control dies, if it was enchanted or equipped, return any number of aura cards that were attached to it from your graveyard to the battlefield attached to target creature. Then attach any number of equipment that were attached to it to that creature. Wow. Holy smokes. So I, just, I love shoop, Cass. Yeah, okay. <laughs> just, yeah. So, uh-huh. um... On the off chance that you have something that blows me out, I will now move to attacks and attack Jim for several dozen thousand and give one of the other uh, permanents uh, 
Uh, of course, wait. counter. I would like to crack away from... No, I'm good. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> no. Oh, oh no. buckets. That was a game. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. These decks are insane. Yeah. Super cool. I also, they feel really Fallout. Yes. yes. I, I like, I have so many things that I want to say, but I don't want to like dominate the post game. Right there. I have so yeah. many thoughts about um, these decks. I, I think the thing that I noticed the most is I love the art on these. Mm -hmm. Fallout has a very distinct art style, and mm -hmm. I don't see that much of the Fallout art style in this. Yeah. I actually think these fit the magic aesthetic super well. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm really glad about that because I know a lot of my friends uh, are concerned about how you know, the art feels and the sort of aesthetics of it. And I, I, I think they did a good job. Mm -hmm. I, and just like the Warhammer decks, they, they feel very Fallout when they're together, right? Yeah. Like, I think that, I think my prediction is that a lot of people are going to buy these just to keep them together and play them right out of the box as yeah. intended kind of thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I've got so many thoughts. I think that rad counters are really, really cool. I think that they're a good way for mill decks to do something other than just milling because they deal damage or they life loss. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it probably also might help people that really hate being milled because you draw before you mill, right? Mm -hmm. Typically, the, the big objection with milling is like, oh, I wanted to draw that. But if you draw first and then mill, it kind of disconnects them a little bit because it might be a long time until your next draw. Right. So you don't immediately think, oh, I wanted to draw that. Whereas if you had milled in your upkeep before you draw, then you're like, you mill it and you're like, oh, I was just going to draw that, right? You're missing out on that opportunity. I, my prediction is that it, it might help people feel a little bit less bad about milling. Yeah, mm. I can see that. Yeah. How do you feel about Caesar? Kaiser? Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> Uh, I really enjoyed it. Um, I will say, uh, I uh, when initially doing the deck, I didn't realize until after I got blown out, or sorry, in, while well, initially playing the deck. Um, so he reads whenever you attack, not whenever he attacks. Ah, oh. uh, tough one. So oh. I was kind of waiting to see if I had a haste enabler at some point, and right. I didn't need any of that. Yeah. I could have just cast him and started activating his abilities, and uh, now I know for next time. Yeah. But... Uh, that, that was the only unfortunate thing for me. Yeah. Uh, I had a lot of fun. Um, I will say, as a Fallout fanboy, uh, I uh, experienced great joy today. Yeah. You going to pick these decks up? Yes. You're going to pre-order them using, link using below. the link? <laughs> <laughs> Set and yeah. spike. <laughs> what did you think about Mothman? Uh, crazy. Uh, I felt like really early on, I was like jumping ahead, right? Like the fact that this guy costs four and mm -hmm. then in like... I did get a little lucky, right? Going around the table, he became six immediately. But, like, it's not unlikely that that could happen. Like, f five, six, or whatever. And then with some of the plus one, plus one counter synergy or proliferate stuff going on, like, he got out of control real fast. Mm -hmm. Like, um, yeah, I felt kind of like Jerry was saying, like, before that first wipe, I was like, I, I feel like I was in a really commanding position. Kind of had to be answered. I think he was, like, 20 power yeah, <laughs> or something almost already. Um and then even after, like, I was really close to clutching it up at the end there. Even yeah, too. If, if Jim hadn't taken you out, I think you win the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, overall, I think these really went well together. Uh, speaking of other things that go well together, you can check out Game Genic products at your local game store. That's the same place you also might be able to find these decks coming out on the date that's on the screen next to my head. In the meantime, though, if you want to pre-order those decks, like we said, check the link below. It's down there. And while you're down there, look for a pinned comment with the link to our giveaway over on Twitter. Yeah. We just want to say thanks so much to GameGenic for helping sponsor those. And thanks again to Wizards of the Coast for providing these decks to us. At this point, you're probably going to see some names over next to my head scrolling on by. Those are our illustrious patrons. They're the folks that help keep the lights on around here. And we just want to say thank you so much to them. And if you want to join their illustrious ranks to keep this kind of content coming out for you... You can head on over to patreon.com slash the and for as little as one US dollar, you can help keep the lights on around here. We just want to say thanks so much. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. If you haven't, comment, comment. And if you haven't liked, do it already. Have a great day.